Okay, in the previous videos, what we've done is we have redeemed our bonds on the maturity date. So at that point, we repaid the amount that we owed them, and there was no gain or loss on early redemption of bonds. But now we're going to say that our company has issued what we'll call callable bonds. This word right here, callable bonds. This means that we have the right to redeem them before the bonds mature, if we desire. So if our interest rate um, drops and we don't want to pay the higher interest rate of our bonds, then we may choose to pay them back early. Um, or if we just have extra cash and we don't want to incur that interest expense any longer, we may call them early. So let's see how this works. You'd be given some numbers. You'd be given what your bonds payable is. That's how much you owe. You would be given a balance and either a discount or a premium account if you had one. Let's say that we had a debit balance in our discount account. And then you would have to be given the amount or the percentage of what you're going to redeem these bonds at. So let's say that we told you that we were going to redeem these bonds at 97.5. And again, that really means 97.5 is a percentage. So we would then say your bonds payable amount, that's your um, value of your bond, times 0.975. And that tells how much we're going to have to pay in order to call these bonds early. So to calculate what our gain or loss would be on the early redemption of our bonds, we're going to put it into this table. You'll want to memorize this little table. It goes like this. Bonds payable is a million dollars. It's either plus a premium or less a discount. Since I've got a discount, I'm going to put it in as a minus. And we already know that our bonds payable plus or minus our premium equals our carrying value. So this table just helped us to calculate our carrying value. And then the cash that we are going to pay to retire these bonds is what we just calculated here, is 975000 Next, we're going to compare our carrying value to the cash paid. If our carrying value is greater, then we're going to have a gain on early redemption of bonds. And 990 is larger than 975, so I do, in fact, have a gain here of the difference, which is 15000 If I had had a loss, it would just say loss on early redemption of a bond. All right, and here's a little hint down here to help you remember. If the carrying value is greater, I have a gain. If the carrying value is less, I have a loss. All right, you can also be asked to journalize the same thing. So if you are, then you're being asked to journalize the early redemption of your bond. So if you do that, then you will Debit bonds payable, because after this transaction you no longer owe them any money. And then this over here, remember, was a discount. And a discount has a normal debit balance. So therefore, to get rid of the debit balance, we're going to credit our discount in the amount of $10,000. The cash that we had to pay out to pay this off was $975,000. And then the gain that we calculated, we're going to call that a gain on early redemption of the bond. And that was $15,000. So we're going to make sure that we're in balance. So I add up my total debits, which equal a million, and I add up my total credits, which also equal a million. So my journal entry is in balance. So you'll want to remember to calculate it like this, but you will also want to know how to put it into a journal entry if you need to do that. Let's talk about where each of these accounts belong on our financial statements. Bonds payable and discount before we redeemed these would have been on your balance sheet. And they would have been side by side or up and down next to each other. And um, a bonds payable would have been reduced by a discount. And Cash, of course, would be on your balance sheet. Let's talk about where gain would be. A gain would be found on your income statement under other revenues or losses. So this would be an income statement item, whereas the other ones would be a balance sheet item.